Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampupbove.com coming to you from a beautiful Menasha, Wisconsin in the United States. I am part of the Totally Techniques design team. We have a blog hop to share with you today where we're featuring the reverse masking technique. What is that? Well, I'm going to show you what masking is and then I'm going to show you the reverse masking technique. I am using a brand new bundle today called Magical Meadow. This has so many beautiful possibilities. Let's flip the camera around and we'll get started. I'm going to start off by sharing the products that I'm using to make my reverse masking cards. And I say plural because there's more than one. So as I said, we're going to be using the Magical Meadow Bundle. This comes with nine different beautiful images. I just love these kind of watercolor images. They're my favorite. And of course, I am a font girl and these fonts are exactly what I am in love with. So we have nine different images in the stamp set. It is a red rubber stamp set. It's a cling mount. Also, we have 13 different dies included in the Magic Meadow dies. So not only do we have the dies that will cut out the stamped images, so these are called like framelets, they're a frame around the image. We also have these beautiful dies that cut out more images that aren't part of the stamp set. And I love it when Stampin' Up! does that. So we've got this little snowflake that die cuts into the paper but doesn't actually cut anything out. So it just puts snowflakes in the paper. Also some little berries. So you get 11 little berries at once with the die that's included in here. I also chose to use the Nested Essentials set of dies. We're going to be using the biggest label here. I've got Lost Lagoon, Basic Gray. I have a blending brush, Wink of Stella. We're going to be using some dimensionals. I've got my Take Your Pick tool, which is a handy little tool that I use kind of as an additional hand or fingers, which is just my go-to tool. My bone folder, some multi-purpose liquid glue. This is a piercing mat, and this mat, I wrap it in printer weight paper and I tape it on with scotch tape. This is what I like to use to stamp on. It helps keep my tabletop clean. It also gives, gives you that little bit of cush that you need to get exceptional images when you're stamping with ink, rubber, photopolymer, and, and cardstock. So let's get started here. I've got a basic white envelope. I always like to decorate my envelopes when I'm stamping. I've got a piece of basic white thick cardstock. This is thicker than the white layers that we're going to stamp on. Makes a great base for your cards. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it here at four and a quarter. And we're just going to fold that and use our bone folder to get a good crisp fold on our folded edge. Next, I have a piece of Lost Lagoon. This is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I've got a couple pieces of basic white. Both of these are gonna be the layer on the front of our card. They're both three and three quarters by five. And then I've got a scrap of basic white for our die cutting. First thing I'm gonna do here is we're gonna do our technique. And I'm gonna do it twice. So the technique today is called reverse masking. And you can take any kind of paper, but it has to be a lightweight paper. Lightweight paper works better. I just happen to have this post-it notepad handy so what I did is I took the largest label out of the nested essentials and I die cut it. And this is what I ended up with when I die cut it. So I am going to show you, first of all, the reverse masking technique. And they call it, uh, I should say, the traditional masking is where you would cut out a piece, okay? and you would use it for a mask. We're gonna do that too. But reverse masking is where we're actually gonna be using the negative of the mask 
as our focal point on our card. So I'm going to do that part first. I'm going to take my basic gray ink pad and I'm going to line this paper up so that it is has an opening in the middle of my layer. And it's easier if you cut this the same size, but I didn't do that. So it's going to take me just a little bit to get this centered and lined up just perfectly. And I just kind of want to look at the back here to make sure, whoops, I've got this straight. This is a post-it note, so it has a little bit of sticky on it. And it really does work better if you cut your masked paper the same size as your layer. You're just going to get a better result. So I'm going to take this. I've got it pinned down with the post-it note sticky on the top there and grab my blending brush. Now, I like to put my blending brush in here, rub it around a little bit, tap, 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 rub it around to get that ink loaded on there. I don't wanna go directly to my paper because it's gonna leave little blotches. So I start out with a light touch and then I come in to my paper. That'll give me a nice, even layer of ink. And you can do this as dark as you would like or as light as you would like. It's completely up to your taste. And again, I just start off the page and then bring this in. And you'll notice that I'm holding this down with my hand so that it keeps it in place. If you want to, you could use some washi tape or some any type of temporary tape to help you hold this in place. And I'm just going to keep going. It doesn't look like I'm really doing much here, but trust me, I am getting color on my white layer. And now we can take a little peek. Look at how dark that is. You can't hardly tell, right? And I think that looks great. That's going to be where I'm going to go with this. So now what I decided to do I'm going to grab my Lost Lagoon ink and I am going to stamp my sentiment. The sentiment says the colder weather brings us together and isn't that the truth? We spend a lot of time inside in the winter in Wisconsin. So I'm going to stamp that right in the middle of my masked area and then I'm going to bring in my scrap. I'm actually making two of these cards because I'm going to show you the We've got reverse masking and traditional masking. So again, I'm using my Lost Lagoon ink here and I'm going to stamp this. And I'm also going to bring in one of my Magical Meadow dies. And this actually has two sheets of dies here. I'm going to use this one to die cut my tree forest image. And then I'm going to grab this little detailed sprigs with the berries on it, and I'm going to die cut that out of the remainder of my white. Hang tight, I'll be right back. So I have both of my pieces here, and isn't this just pretty? It's a very watercolory. I love the look of this stamp set. With this sprig, I'm going to take and add some Wink of Stella to it. Now this is a very delicate little die cut so you're going to want to be you know a little careful with it that you don't bend it up sometimes I tend to go a little too fast and I start bending my little sprigs backwards I just have to be patient and not get too excited about this and I know this is really hard to see in the camera but Wink of Stella adds that little bit of dazzle and bling it's a very subtle but it's so pretty in real life. I hope you can see how that's sparkling. Okay, we're going to bring this layer back in here. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to lay it right over here on the side of my words. And I wanna position it so that it's not covering up my words, but it's okay if it goes off the side a little bit. And I think that actually adds some extra charm. I'm gonna grab my dimensionals and I am going to pin that down with a dimensional. I'm not gonna glue the rest of it. It's gonna be fine just the way it is. And now I'm going to grab the back of this and put some additional 
dimensionals on here. My handy dandy take your pick tool, like I said, is like an extension of my hand or my fingers. I absolutely love using it for all kinds of things. Taking the back off dimensionals is really helpful for me. So I'm gonna look at these trees. I want my trees to be straight up and down. That doesn't necessarily mean that this line is going to be straight with the bottom of my card. But I want my trees to be standing upright. And I think that's just really clean and crisp. This is a very quick and easy card to make. I'm going to take my Lost Lagoon layer and add my liquid glue to the back. Nice thin line of glue. You don't need too much. You don't want it to be squishing out from underneath. Or making, if you use liquid glue before and you've had it make like worm paths on the front of your cardstock layer, it's because you're using too much glue. Less is better with the glue. Then I'm going to take my card base. I want to stamp the inside and I do that before I glue anything together because if I mess this up, I have no more work invested in this particular card. I can flip it over and cover up that mistake. On the inside, I'm going to use the Winter Wishes. I'm going to stamp that right here. That turned out great. And then we have this other image of trees and I am going to add that right in here. You could put it any place you want. I chose right there. I just think that's really pretty. I still have lots of room to be able to write on. We're going to add this to the front. We've got that wider border on our card base, which I think really makes our focal point pop a little bit more. And I'm going to grab some embellishments. Hang tight. These are the Faceted Gems Trio Pack, and this is part of the Magical Meadows Suite. I've got a little hitchhiker there. And I thought these would be absolutely gorgeous on here. So again, with my Take Your Pick tool, I am going to choose to add just a few of these gems on here. Hmm, let's see, maybe right over here. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, so here is our card number one. Beautiful, clean and crisp, I absolutely love this. Now this is reverse masking, right? Where we used the negative part of the mask. You can also use the part that you cut out of the mask. That's regular masking. And as long as I was doing this, I thought I'd give that a try and see how that turned out. So I am going to put this in the center. And again, I've got the sticky up here. I cut it out, making sure that I would have some sticky on my mask and put it on here as straight as I think it, it needs to be, <laughs> as straight as possible. And now I'm going to do my blending on here just to give you an example of the two different types of masking. So I'm gonna get this all blended up and I will be right back. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Wow, isn't that something? I just always like the magic of that. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the other card with this card. We're gonna stamp that sentiment in the middle I've already colored my sprig with the Wink of Stella. So I'm going to put this right on my card, making sure I'm not covering up my wording. We've got a couple dimensionals to go on the bottom of this piece. Again, with my Take Your Pick tool. Gosh, I just love this. Here comes little tree line so pretty I've got my card ready to go here so I could do this quickly for you I'm gonna add this to my lost lagoon layer oops I gotta get that on there straight I have a little wiggle room with this glue which is what I really love about it it goes a long way and you can adjust things without tearing, whoops, tearing them apart. I had some glue on my finger that pulled that right up. 
Okay, so here's this one. Let me add some gems to this. And this time, um, I think I'll, I'll use maybe the clear, oh, let's use these gray ones up here. I think that'll be pretty. Again, with my take your pick tool, Hmm. How about right here? That looks good. All right, we have this card. This is regular masking. This is reverse masking. And then we can't forget to decorate our envelope. So I chose to use the big Spriggy stamp that coordinates with the die that I use. I'm gonna use that Lost Lagoon ink. I firmly believe that we should be decorating our envelopes when we're creating cards because when somebody opens that mailbox, what a fun surprise in there, right? So here we have this one. And let me clear some of the stuff out of the way so I can share with you another one that I made. I've got my Lost Lagoon cards with the reverse masking, regular masking. And then I also did it with Blackberry Bliss. And I think this is so, so pretty. I don't have any bling on there. So I think I'll use these clear ones. And I like to do odd numbers. So three on here is just enough. And this is the reverse masking and the regular masking. Which is your favorite? Which one do you like the best? Do you like the Lost Lagoon? Do you like the Blackberry Bliss? You guys let me know in the comments. Leave me a comment down below my video or you can head over to my blog. My blog address is right here. Up in this right hand corner, you are going to have a link that you can click that'll take you right to this blog post. And on my blog, I'll have all the dimensions listed for this card. I'll have a replay of this video. And also, you'll be able to subscribe to my newsletter. And you'll see some still photos there. I'll list all the ingredients that I used in these cards. So you'll have the ink pads and the stamp set and the nested essentials, all the good things. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. I would be happy to send you our newest mini catalog. This is a beauty. And you will find this mag magical meadow bundle in the Winter Meadow Suite on page 36 and 37. Oh my goodness. So many possibilities. I am going to be using a lot of the elements out of this suite for my kit class, which you'll find further information about um, on my blog. So head over there. Also, this is part of the Totally Technique Design Team blog hop. We're all doing cards using reverse masking. So if you click right up here, you're gonna go to my blog, scroll down, you're gonna see some little thumbnail pictures of other cards. Click on the next one, and it'll show you the next design member's reverse masking technique card. And there'll be several of them there, so you can get a lot of different ideas using this technique. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel down here. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. Lots of pretty designs coming your way using the Magic Meadow Bundle. I want to thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day today to spend with me. If there's anything that I can do for you, please know that I'm always happy to help. Bye-bye.